Hey everyone, Colin here at eTrailer. Today we have in here a 2019 GMC Canyon. We've been test fitting some roof racks. Right now we have a Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on top. And this is going to mount to the naked roof of your canyon. It's got a fit kit so that it can match the contours of your canyon. And it's going to provide you with a solid roof rack so you can get your favorite rooftop accessories loaded up. Whether you've got a cargo box, a bike rack, or even a kayak carrier, you can be able to get those things loaded to conserve on space on the inside of your truck and also in the bed of your truck for other items. Now up top we're going to have our 53 inch wing bar Evo crossbars. They have a nice aerodynamic shape that's going to help cut down on wind noise and drag, especially when you compare that to a standard square or round bar roof rack system. You can see we have them in black right now, but if you think that silver would match your vehicle better, that's available here at eTrailer, so you can just check that out. What's also really nice is that, as opposed to some other manufacturers who make their roof racks where you have to pull the end cap off to access your T-slot, we can just flip open our cap right there, gives us direct access into the T-slot, and we also no longer have to pull out the rubber strip and cut it to length for our T-slot accessory. All we have to do is slide it in between those two rubber strips and then tighten it down whenever we have it in our correct position. That's just a really nice upgrade Thule had when they upgraded to the wing bar from their Aeroblade bars. Now right here we have our Evo clamp feet. This is, this is what's gonna be connecting our crossbars to our fit kit. We can pull off the end cap and see the inside. You can see our fit kitted hook comes up inside and hooks on to the bracket. Now we have a bolt on the inside. That's where you tighten down the roof rack. It basically just pulls up on the hook to tighten down. When we put the end cap back on, you can see we have this plastic lock right here. You can replace that with a one key system from Thule. That'll just provide more security for your roof rack. And if you have other Thule roof mounted accessories like a cargo box or a bike rack that they also have locks on, you can key those alike. So you can have both your roof rack and your accessories keyed alike. Now we're also gonna have our fit kit, which is sitting on top of our vehicle. It's been custom made for the Canyon. You can see how this thick rubber pad follows the contours of the top of our roof. It's a really thick rubber pad. It's going to help make sure it doesn't cause any type of scratches or abrasions to our rooftop. Now when I open up the door, you can see how this rubber coated hook comes down and matches the contours almost perfectly all the way down. What's a little bit different about this roof rack system is that we have to pull down the weather stripping so that that hook can grab on to the frame of the vehicle. That's not a huge deal. And they actually are going to provide you guys with some rubber strips to put under the hook right below right here. Basically, before you install it, you want to make sure you install that right there. It's got adhesive on the back. And that, again, that's just going to help make sure to make up for that little bit of a pull on the weather seal to make sure no moisture gets inside your vehicle. Do make sure you follow the steps and, and get this rubber strip installed before the hook. We skipped that for demonstration purposes. Now I want to go over a few measurements for you guys. First from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar, it's going to be three and a quarter inches. And that's more than enough space to get your clamp on accessories under your wing bar without risking damaging the top of your roof. And it's also going to be more than enough space for if you have a sunroof to get that open and have full functionality of it when your roof racks installed. Now, if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our crossbar, it's going to be four and a half inches. And that's something to keep in mind because you have that added height to your roof. So any low clearance situations, you just want to be mindful of that. With the Canyon, because it does sit a little bit lower than most other vehicles, you shouldn't run into anything like that, but it's always something to keep in mind. And with our wing bar setup, we are going to have a full weight capacity of 220 pounds. That is a step up when you compare it to their old Aeroblade bars. So you're going to be able to get a lot loaded on top, but always be sure to double check with your Canyon's owner's manual and make sure your roof can handle that weight. Well, now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get this installed. Now, as you can see, we got everything we need in front of us. It's going to be a nice and easy assembly. Just make sure you follow the instructions. We'll go through that right now. We're going to flip our crossbar over. You really want to make sure you pay attention to the instructions because with our fit kit, there are specific numbers for the pads that go on the front right, the front left, and then same with the back right and the back left. So we already have the numbers right here. We have this one for the rear left bar. So the pads is going to go on our fit kit. You can kind of see how the bracket is the same shape as 
our pad. So we're just going to put it on and then press down on it. Make sure it clamps in place. What's nice is that our, our fit, our, excuse me, our rubber coated hooks are all the same. So you're not gonna have to worry about putting on the front right or anything. You just grab one. We're just going to push it in, clip it down just like that. Now what we're gonna do is come to the side of our crossbar, remove the end cap. We're gonna push in on that button, pull the end cap off completely. Now with our Evo foot, what we're gonna do is press in on those two silver buttons right there. It's going to unlock the clamp piece up here so we can slide it into the channel. So we just press in on those. You can see we can slide it right in the channel. As soon as I let go, it locks into place. But we, what we need to do is bring the edge of our foot all the way up to the edge of this tab right here. This is gonna be our scale. Now it has numbers engraved in it all the way across, uh, down to the half. So we're gonna have halves between each whole number. Now the instructions do tell you where the scale needs to be set for both the front bar and the rear bar. So make sure you get that set to the instructions, what it's specified in the instructions. And we're just gonna bring this up till it butts up against it and let go. Now it's locked into place. We'll just take our end cap, put that back on. Now we're ready to get it on our roof. Now you wanna make sure you open up both of your rear doors and we'll just stretch our roof rack across. Make sure to get the hook on the door frame and then set it down onto the pad for both sides. Now before we do any tightening down, we're gonna measure our crossbar spread. With our crossbar spread, our instructions specify to go 27 and a half inches. We're gonna go from the front of our front wing bar to the front of our rear wing bar. I'm gonna to need to scoop back a little bit for both sides and we'll measure again. Went a little too far, so we'll come back. All right, now you wanna make sure you get this measurement accurate on both sides. Now right here, we're ready to get our hooks attached. And this is also where you would apply this foam piece right here. You don't wanna pull it down too much, just get it under the hook. Now, like I said earlier, for demonstration purposes, we're gonna skip this step, but you would want it just about right there. That's just gonna help make sure that no water or anything gets in through the seal. Now once you have all that in place, we'll just start tightening it down. You see how that uh, fit kit piece comes down and as soon as it makes contact with the vehicle, we'll go a couple more turns. Now we're gonna switch to the other side and start tightening that down. We don't want to pull too much on one side, so make sure you go back and forth to make sure you get a good snug fit on both sides. Now we got the other side and tightened down all the way and you heard those audible clicks. Those are gonna let you know that it's fully torqued to the correct specifications by Thule. So we'll just do the same on this side. You heard one, there's two and three. Now we're gonna be good. We'll just go ahead and close our door. Now we'll just grab our end cap, put that on. Once both sides are tightened down, it's always a good idea to grab a hold of your roof rack, give it a good shake, make sure that it's secure. You see I'm going back and forth, up and down. The whole vehicle is moving when I shake it. So now we're gonna be, re be ready to load up our favorite Thule accessories and hit the road. Well, thank you all for watching, but that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2019 GMC Canyon.